Corporate social responsibility, I don't think it's working. I think it's, it's been taken over by the big management houses, marketing houses, it's been taken over by the big groups like KPMG, like Arthur Anderson. It's a huge money building operation now. And we didn't see what was going on. We didn't see the whole growth of the glo corporate globalization. We didn't see the immense power that business was playing, especially in the political arena. We didn't look at the language, the economic language, which was about control, which was about, you know, everything had to be for the market economy. We were just flowering around on our own thinking. And so what you opened, we, we took our eyes off the ball and when we put it on the ball again, we thought, you know, it's been hijacked. This, this social responsibility in business and it became corporate social responsibility. And it was a huge money earner for these big management companies like you know, KPMG, like Arthur Anderson, like PricewaterhouseCoopers, all of those. They were making shed loads of money by actually doing a system of analysis about how you measure your behavior. But it was no good, it was like this obsession for measurement. It wasn't ever showing you how you can put these ideas into practice, and they never told you and meant a truth. A truth that nobody wants to discuss. If it gets in the way of profit, business aren't going to do anything about it. So we still. Right from Ghana. Every day after school, Yusuf Nashidu comes here to scavenge. Yusuf is one of about a hundred children, some as young as four years old, who eke out a living salvaging metal from discarded computers and televisions in Ghana's capital city. How long have you been doing this? Every, every day. Every day? Yes. For a long time? Yes. And how old are you? The children earn about a dollar a day, about enough for a meal. Sometimes they set fire to junk computers in order to extract the copper wiring to sell which unleashes a toxic soup of chemicals. We're looking at the immense health implications. And for the kids, we're talking about organ damage. We're talking about lowering of the um, IQ as a result of the lead, uh, the mercury, even the cadmium. At times I can feel sick. Like how? I can sit in, like, in my body, I can't feel free. Where does all this e-waste come from? Much of it from the United States. Washington Metro Area Transit Authority. Property of the U.S. Army. Property of the United States government. State of Connecticut Mental Health Facility. Even the Environmental Protection Agency. For almost every country in the world,